Let us recognize numbers up to 10,000. This is we call block numbers. We have to recognize the name of this block which is we call short. Long. Flat. And cube. We look at this chart, one unit or one short block number is represent to number one. One long is ten. One flat is represent to one hundred. And one cube represent to one thousand. Okay, next, we look at this place value chart. Cube, the value is 1000. Flat, the value is hundreds. Long, the value is tens. And the last one is short, the value is ones. Our next activity is we try to write the number shown by this block. Okay, example number one. Okay, we look for the place value. This one is thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. One cube is one thousand. Two flat is two hundred. Five long is fifty and 3 short is 3 so the total number is 1253 ok now we are going to example number 2 so here we has 3 cube is to represent 3000 3 flat is 300 3 long is 30 and 3 short is 3 the total number is 3333 now we look at our next example we had one cube which is 1000 3 flat is represent to 300 5 long is 50 and the last one is we had 7 shot of block and the total value of this block is 1357 now we try to write this number using table with column First column is ones. Next to ones is ten. Next column is hundred, and the last column is thousand. Firstly, let us consider from thousand a column. There were we had one cube block number, and then we had three flat block number. For the long block, we had five. And the last one is we had 7 unit of short block number.
Okay, we're leaving for some further example. We need to extend the numbers for part A. We had 3562. We write it here and make a table again, which is we have ones, column tens, column hundreds, and thousand. Okay, we had two in ones column, six in tens column, five in hundreds column, and three in thousands column. So now we go to expand the numbers. Here we had three in thousands column, three is three thousand, and then five in hundreds columns with plus with five hundreds and then six is tens column we plus it with sixty and the last number is two in ones column so we just have to write it number two now we move to part b here we had 4170 we write here again from these four digits numbers we had to know the value of them now we start from four which is in thousands column means four is four thousand so we are going to expand them we write four thousand we go to our next number next number is one so one is in hundreds column and the value of number one is 100 so we write here plus 100 next number is seven seven is in tens column and it is 70 and we plus again with 70 and the last number is zero zero is in ones column so zero is nothing so we don't need to write anything here part c here we had 6802 we write here again from this four digits number we had to know the value of them we start from six which is in thousand column means six is six thousand so we are going to expand them again so we write six thousand now we go to next number our next number is eight number eight is in hundreds column and the value of number eight is eight hundred we write here plus eight hundred in tens column is zero zero is nothing here we no need to write any number last number is two which is in ones column we had to write it plus two now we already done our expand the number thank you for your attention and good luck